Hey everybody, it's Adam with the Patia News, coming to you with your daily recap for November 6, 2020 from Patia, Thailand. So today what we're going to talk about, what you see in the background here, uh, is a video that we took yesterday, November 5, 2020, in the Banglamung area of Patia. As you can see, this particular resident had a major issue with hornets on their house. In fact, it astounded people who responded to the scene how this resident had actually not noticed the amount of hornets nests which was well over a dozen with hundreds and hundreds of hornets all around the home uh, the house resident said he rarely left his house he went outside and went for a walk in his yard and got stung by a hornet curious he looked around and then noticed that his house was covered in nests he went ahead and called the local Banglamung administrative office to go ahead and assist in removing the nests which only took about 30 minutes to do although they cautioned that people should always take a look at the outside of their house on a regular basis or they could have what this particular resident had in other news yesterday the Patio News went over the fact that nearly every weekend, all the way going up until the end of this year in Pattaya, they will be having events such as a fireworks festival, a music festival, an EDM festival, food festivals, jet ski festival, you name it. They're doing everything they can to encourage domestic tourism. Now, unfortunately, a lot of you guys not in Thailand know that right now borders remain closed to the vast majority of general tourism. Yes, there's some exceptions here and there. Yes, you can get in if you have the right paperwork, a lot of money, going through all sorts of hoops with consulates and embassies, etc., etc., but for the average person, getting in right now remains off limits. So Thailand, in the time of year when generally they get millions of tourists, has to rely on domestic tourism. You'll notice also on our YouTube channel that we posted earlier today, if not, just take a look at our playlist, uh, that the Patia police did a training exercise at the Yes nightclub off of 3rd Road in Patia of what to do if a large group of youth and young adults get into an altercation during all these festivals that come up. Now, in Thailand, and we've covered before in our news, there's been several newsworthy incidents of not just a nightclub brawl, but after the brawl, several people got injured, had to go to the hospital, and then the group of people that got into the brawl took the fight to the hospital, breaking into emergency rooms, further attacking the person in the room. It's a mess. So what Pati authorities did yesterday was go ahead and make sure that this would not take place in the near future by going ahead and holding a drill which they called very successful with actors you can check that out also on our channel last but not least unfortunately a 51 year old Thai man yesterday climbed a construction crane to see what the problem was with the lifting mechanism on the crane but he was not wearing a harness nor was he wearing a helmet some of you guys may have saw this on our website tragically the 51 year old man slipped and fell to his death now, they are looking at the safety standards of the site, but those of you that come to Thailand on a regular basis know that, unfortunately, that doesn't always exist. As always, we thank you for watching the Patia News. Now that we're doing daily news recaps, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like us on Facebook, give us any comments. We're happy to respond with questions in the Patia area. We are live on the ground. As always, thank you for watching. Hey, everybody. It's Adam with the Patia News. Coming to you.